Welcome to another tutorial and this tutorial has actually been requested for a long time now and it is about exporting your models from Blender as we can see in here over in Unity. So the problem is that there is a lot of ways of exporting this and importing in into Unity without having compromises. So for example, I'll show you some of the problems that you're going to have while exporting this. Now, for example, the first problem that you're going to see is these faces that don't look very smooth. So for now, this whole entire car looks very nice and smooth. And uh, what we're going to do is just try and export this as a FBX file over at Unity. So I'll open up Unity and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in our scene. We have nothing in it and what we're going to do is simply export this model as a FBX file over in Unity. So what you would do is you would go into File, Export, FBX, over into your desktop. We're just going to call it Apollo for now and we're going to leave everything in default. So I'll just export this and after exporting it, here it is, I am just going to drag it and drop it into my assets. So what, sh what we should see is this exact model and what we also should see is the textures that have been embedded into this model. So let's see if we actually have it. So we'll drop it in the scene and after having dropped it into our scene, let's quickly add in a plane. So here is the model into our scene and the one problem that we have it is completely white. So if we select one of the components, as we can see the door in here, we have all these materials, but we don't have the textures. So how are we going to get the textures into Unity? To do that, we are going to have to navigate to the folder that these existing textures are. So, so in my case, I have them all saved in this Apollo folder. So what I'll do is I will drag this Apollo folder which only has the textures in them. I'll drag the Apollo FBX file over into that folder. And then what I'll do is I'll go back into Unity, delete Apollo, delete the FBX file. And then what I'll do is I'll create a new Apollo folder. And now all that's left for us to do is to drag this Apollo and drop it into our assets. So once we've done that, we can already see that the Apollo has some textures in them, but they're not set up right. So let's bring the Apollo into our scene and it is already textured. Now the one problem that you are going to have while importing that it is that the textures are not accessible. The problem with that is the import settings. So to fix the import settings, what you're going to have to do is to go and navigate into your FBX file over at materials and simply change the search location into use external materials. So once you do that, you're going to hit apply. And now we have a materials folder, as we can see in here. So now if we drag our Apollo and we select the chassis for now, we're going to see that we have a material that has been generated for us. OK, and that is it about importing models from Blender over in Unity. 